going to be assessing anything here, and it's going to be about 99.5% of all your patients. Those aren't true statistics, of course. But the, the simple notion is that, for the most part, we're all a little bit more forward-headed, which means we're all a little bit more extended at the occiput than we are flexed. With the exception of David, who I met 16 years ago, and he did okay when we found the right condom. So, go up and I'll never forget him. Oh my God, it was so strange to see that presentation. Good guy. Did what happened? How did he get there? It just, he, he just developed this uh, chronic pain and no one could really figure out what it was, but when he walked in like this, it was so apparent. So he didn't do chin tucks. No, <laughs> no need for chin tucks. But when we finally got him to a good length, he had no strength in those muscles because, you know, they were so short. Anyway. So in the flex position with OA, come up, I side glide to the right, so I'm causing side bending to the right, which is causing rotation which way? To the left. Very good. I now come back to neutral, and I'm going to assess the other direction. I cup the occiput, a little bit of flexion, and now I side glide to the right, causing side bend left. And rotation which way? Rotation right of the and which condyle? Of the right condyle. It's going posteriorly. Very good. So now after I've done my assessment, I've determined, even with this plastic model, I've determined that the restriction is more limited in flexion when I side bend to the right, which means left rotation is more limited, which means which condyle is the problem? Which is the only condyle going posteriorly with left rotation? The left side. And remember, if you remember from the FOSP, what is it, F? F-O-S-P, that when we're in flexion and we're going into side bending, the condyle that's problematic is opposite the side bending. It can't go posterior because they're stuck in too much extension. They can't gain subcranial flexion and bring themselves into neutral. And this is your posterior OA lesion. Okay. Now, to document that, because we, we're keen on documentation, if I'm in flexion, I can't side bend to the right, and I'm stuck, I can't rotate left, I must be extended side bent right, side bent left, sorry, I knew I was going to do it, <laughs> rotated right. Because I can't flex, side bend right, rotate left. Therefore, positionally, I'm fixated, extended, side bent left, rotated right. And the problem is the left condyle. It's okay. not coming into posterior glide. That extended position is the diagnosis. That extended position is the diagnosis, the thing that I just mentioned. That's the positional fixation. The motion lost is flexion, side bending right, rotation left stuck, doesn't want to move, it doesn't move as freely as the other side, and therefore I know that there's a positional fixation of extension, side bending right, side bending left, sorry, right rotation. Okay? I'm going to talk you through this. It's going to feel, it's going to be a little easier, I hope, to digest when you put your hands on your patient, but I'd like to talk through, and I've always got this feedback from you guys, you like it when I talk through the whole class at once. And to do that, and to make it go efficiently, I need to have everybody facing the same way, so that my rights and lefts are consistent, and when I ask you to side bend one way, you're going to that way, otherwise the rights and lefts are going to get confused. So I'd like your feet to be facing that wall, your head at that end of the table, clinician at that end of the table, facing the clock.